it's where happiness goes to die. <laughs> the other day, a guy told me his penis could break me in half. I was like, I don't think I want that. <laughs> Unless, of course, it's a magic trick, then that could be fun. <laughs> but dating is hard because we want to maintain impossible things like standards and self-respect. <laughs> if a guy does something we don't like, we're like, I don't know who you think you are, but you are not going to get away with that shit. <laughs> then we're like, call me later, okay? <laughs> what time? What time? I'm not proud. I mean, I'm a little proud because he ended up calling. I went out with a brain surgeon once. First of all, that's a real job. I was like... <laughs> the entire time I was looking at him and I was like, every date, every fight we ever have is gonna end with, no, it actually is brain surgery. <laughs> I was like, I can't have that, it's over. I'll never win. I'm a Jew, I dated an Arab once, I loved it. It was so controversial. <laughs> It was like in the 80s when people would adopt crack babies. I was like, this is my Arab. I was so proud. <laughs> Got a little stressful after a while. He started to leave things in my apartment. He once left a backpack in my living room. <laughs> I was like, is this a see something, say something situation? I, I don't know. I dated a Puerto Rican once. I love Puerto Ricans. Here's why. When I'm walking down a busy city street and there's a tree with a three by three patch of grass, I see a place for my dog to go to the bathroom. They see a banquet hall. They will throw a hibachi grill on that patch of grass. Invite 200 of their closest friends and have the sickest party ever. I have three people come to my house for dinner, six chairs, and I'm like, how the fuck am I gonna pull this off? <laughs> they don't even need that patch of grass. There could be grass growing from a crack in the sidewalk on 95th and Lexington. And they're like, we can have our party here. <laughs> Nobody appreciates urban grass more than the Puerto Ricans. <laughs> they are the most ecologically friendly nationality in this city dating. Guys, you don't know this, but we as women know more about your ex-girlfriends than you do. Right now, all the guys are like, what? And the girls are like, totally. <laughs> You're like, I don't know what happened to my ex. Last I heard, she moved to Chicago. We're like, no. She lives three blocks away. She just bought a Labradoodle. But we don't say it. We just think it. 